गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स स्टैंडर्ड सेवन प्रोस वन द टाइटल ऑफ द प्रोस इज ईका इट इज रिटन बाय मुंशी प्रेमचंद ट्रांसलेटेड एंड अडाप्टड बाय उमा रामन नाउ रीडिंग सेशन ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स आर रिक्वेस्टेड टू रीड विथ मी How wonderful and beautiful was the morning of Eid the trees looked greener the field more festive the sky had a lovely pink glow the sun seemed brighter and more dazzling than before to wish the world a very happy Eid The village was filled with excitement. Everyone was up early to go to the Eidka. The boys were more excited than the others. They had been talking about it all the time. Finally, the day had come, and now they were impatient. They were taking their treasure out of their packets, counting and recounting it. before putting it back mohammad counted 1 2 10 12 he had 12 coins mohsin had 1 2 3 8 9 fifteen coins with this money they would buy countless things toys sweets paper ball rubber balls much more things the happiest of the boys was hamid he was only 4 thin and poorly dressed last year his father had died of cholera then his mother also died from then hamid lived with his old granny amina and was as happy as a lark she told him that his father had gone his mother had gone to allah to get lovely gifts for him this made hamid very happy hamid had no shoes on his feet the cap on his head was soiled and tattered he knew that his father would come back with the socks full of silver and his mother with the gifts from allah then he would have no then he would have more than mohammad mohsin nuri and sami paper pipes sweets rubber balls hamid's granny amina was sad it was eid and she did not have even a handful of grains if only her son were there it would have been a different kind of eid hamid went to his grandmother and said granny i will be the first to get back don't worry amina was worried other boys were going out with their parents fathers how could she let him go to the fair all by himself here the hamid Hamid left with the uh, other boys Hamid was like one with the wings on his feet they ran on ahead of the elders and waited for them under a tree they reached a suburbs of the town on the both sides of the road were big houses of the rich in the gardens mangoes and lychee trees were full of fruits then they came across the stores of the sweets vendors all decorated so gaily every store had sweets piled up in heaps like mountains students you have to read properly don't skip this video and also try to read reading practice is very very important than others so okay kindly read it